It is a report on new challenges, new threats to the rule of law in selected countries of the uh, Council of Europe. It was a research in Romania, in Bulgaria, in Moldova, and after that in Poland and in Turkey. And the report focuses systematical problems, threats to the rule of law in these countries. It is very important because it's one of the basic rules for democracy. The rule of law is very important for the people in a the country. They must predict the action of a state. They must be sure that everything will happen like stated in the laws made by the parliaments. That's the systemic importance of the rule of law. For example, we had a coup d'etat in Turkey and after this coup d'etat, Turkey took some measures which are not compatible with the rule of law. They dismissed judges, prosecutors, civil, defend, civil uh, officers. They have an emergency situation since a long time and the, the rule of law doesn't work well in Turkey, one example. I can make other examples. In Romania, for example, we had to constate that the Romanian government is doing legal work with emergency ordinances limiting the work of the parliament. So we have a disruption of the separation of power. Or we have big corruption issues in Moldova, uh, which are affecting the rule of law system there, or we have attempts in Poland to bring the judiciary under the influence of the executive power. These all are examples for uh, threats to the rule of law in these countries. I recommend it to the governments to uh, respect, for example, all the recommendations of the Venice Commission, of Greco, uh, to retain from bringing the judiciary under the influence of the executive, to respect the separation of power, or in Turkey, to stop the situation of emergency immediately, because the reasons are gone. Uh, there are a lot of recommendations in, in the report, and I hope they will be respected by the governments.